It's Sally and Finn's Wrestling and Video Game Podcast. This week we talk about Get More Gaming News and give our thoughts on the recent WWE Payback. It wasn't great. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to episode number 11 of the Sunny and Finn Show. I'm Sunny, and with me as always, Finn Steele. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you very much. Okay, so uh, we're getting these episodes out pretty thick and fast now. We are. We're on episode 11 already, mm-hmm. so it seems like we're sort of getting these out weekly, Be which good. is good. We're going to bring uh, more content to the the show. We are a show, aren't we? We're yeah. a show. We're a show, we're uh, a tag team. Yeah, that's what <laughs> we are. We're, we're a tag team, so... This tag team is uh, aiming to get more content out there. Absolutely. And, uh, why not get the podcast out there thick and fast? On that note, as before we start the show, I just want to thank everybody who did turn up to the Payback Prediction Show live stream that we did uh, this past Sunday. Yes, absolutely. Um, it was excellent. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing it. Yes. A lot of great people in the comments. Uh, thank you for joining in, being respectful, and asking us questions. It was great. So Yeah. Easily, yeah. easily our best stream yet. Oh, for sure, yeah. Lots more to come. Lots, lots more to come. Um, yeah, it's really good. You're helping us build uh, a small community so far. Yeah. But it's a community nonetheless. Yeah. And we definitely. thank you. It's great. Um, we've got a few bits to get through today. We're going to um, sort of talk about payback and uh, go through the fallout from payback, um, see how our predictions went on. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, we have a question from uh, one of our listeners as well, which was, Quite an interesting question, so we thought we'd spend a bit of time on it instead of rushing it out before payback. Okay. And um, it's just a couple of little bits of gaming news too. Absolutely. Um, we'll start with that. Uh, in fact, no, what we'll start with is what we always start with. And I think I know the answer to this question, but what are you playing at the minute? Uh, believe it or not, I'm playing Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> Third show in a row, he's still going, he's still, still plugging still away. Still going through it. I've been playing a bit of uh, Hitman Go, uh, a fun little puzzle game uh, with Hitman. Yeah. And what else? I feel like I had something else. Um, I was going to say, oh, the Neo beta. Yeah, I talked about talked about briefly in the last uh, show. Uh, I actually went back and played it again. It's really, really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, bloody difficult, but I did manage to beat both bosses. Uh, both back. bosses? How yep. big is the demo? Pretty huge, actually. Right, <laughs> kind of okay. I beat the first boss and I was like, phew, finally done. And then like a whole end of the area unlocked. It's like, oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Here we go again. So I'm going to assume you're going to be buying this when it comes out. Uh, probably, yes. It's, yeah. uh, it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay. Uh, I wonder what to get used to it. Sorry? Once I got used to it, it was uh, it kind of clicks. It was yeah. like, oh, okay, now I kind of get what's going on here. I haven't tried it yet. It's good. Um, I keep seeing it flashing up on my, um, you know, like uh, what people are sort of doing. Mm. People are playing it, and I've seen some positive reviews for it. Yeah. You said it's difficult, and I find Dark Souls difficult. So yeah. it's, I don't know if it's going to be for me or not. Yeah, it's it's definitely in the same vein as Dark Souls. It basically is Dark Souls, but with Samurais, and so it's slightly different combat. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Good. I'd like it. Excellent, and that's what you're playing at the minute. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, How about what, you? What am I playing at the minute? Um, uh, I'm playing through Tales of Tales from the Borderlands. Oh, yes. Excellent. Which is excellent. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually think it's better than The Walking Dead Season 1. Wow. I praise. Two different stories, okay. but um, the, the story for this is excellent. It's really funny as well, and it's got a real kick-ass soundtrack, which yeah. I'm in, really into, so... Uh, um, I got it for like fourteen ninety nine because I've just brought it out uh, as a physical release. Nice. Bargain. So I, I picked it up when I was in game just the other day. Um, I thought for fourteen ninety nine, um, can't go wrong with a pretty much a walk to platinum trophy. <laughs> it's it's well worth playing, and uh, I'm really glad that it's good. Good, excellent. Uh, what else am I playing at the minute? I ju- just picked up Battleborn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was released yesterday here. Mm-hmm. Um, I like it so far. It's pretty simple, simple concept. Um, massive roster of um, protagonists yeah um, I like it a lot I've not played enough of it to sort of make a full judgment on it I had a couple of hours with it last night um, but yeah I like it I like the art style the opening cinematic is wonderful yeah um, great song that's on the on the opening cinematic and good animation and yeah it's very cool excellent um, I played a beta of that a little while ago it wasn't too impressed um, not my kind of thing uh, I did enjoy Borderlands a lot to make all the same guys obviously yeah um I don't know. If, if you say it's good, I might give it a try. Yeah, it, it is good. Uh, um, it's also worth mentioning that the uh, Overwatch beta starts soon, which is another very similar style of game, so I might wait for that and see. I know the closed beta for that started yesterday. Yeah. May 3rd here. Yeah. Um, I think that's if you pre-order it, you get early access. Yeah. And it comes out to the rest of us later in the week. 
See, I was interested in Overwatch as well, mm. but uh, I was intrigued by Battleborn, and I just thought, well, I always buy all the new releases. Just <laughs> may as well just buy this one as well. Nice. Um, but I like it so far. It's it's good. The the graphics are cool. It's only it's, it's this gen only, so I'm going to mess around with the previous gen stuff. Um, yeah, I, I like it so far, but it's difficult for me to sort of make a full judgment on it until I played more. Yeah, that's fair. Um, especially when sort of the servers are better and the matchmaking becomes a bit better. Yeah, I, don't make a, I mean, I had one mission with uh, four other people in it, and it was good. Nice. Uh, lots of lots of easy enemies to plow through. Yeah, and okay. uh, the leveling up system's cool. But we'll come back to it um, in a later episode when I've played a bit more. Yeah, and I'll talk about it a bit more then. Sounds good to me. Uh, that's pretty much it. I think at the minute I've been still playing Ratchet and Clank. Nice. Um, still playing through that, and I love it. But um, yeah, I've been I've been focusing most of my attention on Tales from the Borderlands. Sweet. Um, okay, so. Just a few little bits of gaming news. Nothing major has happened for a change yeah. since uh, we last recorded, which was only last week. Yeah. Um, today's May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, for Star mm-hmm. Wars. Um, we touched on this last week on the, on the podcast, but uh, the new Call of Duty has now officially been released. Yeah. Um, released. Uh, announced. Announced, yeah. Wow, that's quickly so. <laughs> quick, it's real quick. Um, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Still a terrible name. Awful name. Um, interesting trailer. I don't know if you've seen it. I have seen it. What do you think to it? Meh. Yeah, it's Call of Duty. <laughs> Call of Duty, yeah. In it's space. A, it's a very Call of Duty trailer. It is, definitely. Um, they've edited it together very nicely. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it makes it look very action-packed, which I'm sure it will be. But The campaign's always a bit of fun. Yeah, the campaign honest. is uh, always six hours of fun. Yeah. Um, that said, I haven't even finished the Black Ops 3 <laughs> campaign yet. But um, I don't know. It looks fine. Um, it looks like a Call of Duty game. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't actually bought a Call of Duty game in a while. Um, I might try this one if it gets good reviews. Oh, you're intrigued. I'm intrigued. Ooh. Um, I think, it's, but I think mostly because it comes with um, like Modern Warfare <laughs> Remaster. That, that's the hook, you see. Yeah, that's right. just, that's what I'm saying. Um, because they've said that the so Modern Warfare Remastered um has been announced alongside Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, but yeah. they're not going to be selling it separately. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I think it tends to pay, like, pay more for. Modern Warfare, if you want it, or is it like? Um, yeah, there's there's the standard edition of Infinite Warfare where you will not get Modern Warfare remastered, mm-hmm. or there's the there's like there's two special editions basically. I can't remember the names of them. It's not important, but Modern Warfare remastered uh, comes with either of those. Yeah, lots of people like that. Just lead to back door deals. Um, so, <laughs> uh, I mean, I will buy it probably. Yeah. Just because the remaster interests me a great deal. Yeah, definitely. Uh, after Black Ops 3 and how much I didn't like it, I wasn't going to buy this year's Call of Duty, but the, um, the sons of bitches have got their hooks into me again. <laughs> um, so I'm going to look at it. I'm going to have a look into it. Yeah. The campaign could be fun. I like yeah. the... Um, it's Treyarch, isn't it, this one? I have no idea. Or if, <laughs> no, this is Infinity <laughs> I've, 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 Ward. I've now called it to loop for quite a while. So this one's in, I think this one's Infinity Ward. Okay. Um, if it isn't, I'm sure it'll be on the corrections on the next show. Yeah. I haven't done that in a while, actually. Oh, yeah, there. okay. Um, do it next time. Yeah, <laughs> and we'll 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 prove me wrong. But yeah. um, I like the one, the last ones that these guys did was Ghosts, and that uh, was actually the last one that I liked. Uh, Advanced Warfare wasn't from these guys, I don't think, and neither was Black Ops Three. So Ghosts was the last one that was done by these guys, and okay. I like that one, so I'm going to pick this one up as well. Cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. I, I mean, the the footage shown from Modern Warfare Remaster looks pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. It, looks, it, it wasn't a lot. It was tiny. literally twenty <laughs> seconds at the end of the <laughs> pretty much. trailer. But um, because Modern Warfare is one of those games, just with, whether you like it or not, you have to like appreciate what it did for first person shooters. Uh, yeah. Up, up until then, it was all I don't know. First person shooters hadn't really had much going for them. And then Modern Warfare came out and kind of changed everything. Both aspects of it too, both the the storytelling mm. and the multiplayer. Yeah, and just gameplay in general. It's just yeah, it, it's it's awesome, and I'm really excited to play it again. Yeah, definitely. And especially this time, we get to win trophies, and we know how much we love trophies. And we get to uh, unlock the uh, what was that trophy called? The really hard one, uh, Mile High Club. Was the trophy on? No, there wasn't a trophy on Modern no, it's, Warfare. It's, it's achievement in Modern Warfare. It's uh, called the Mile High Club. Oh, of course, because of course, for, uh, because. Um, it had, it was on Xbox 360, and of course it had achievements. Yeah, and uh, stupid PS3. It's for like completing the last little bonus segment, and under under like a minute 
on expert so they'll be after the credits where they're on the plane yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Didn't, like super fast in on super expert mode i bet uh, you've done it yeah i have done it yeah so yeah it took forever is that the time is like the hardest trophy you can all the team you can get i was like i've got to get it and i did fair enough <laughs> um it took forever so i'm excited to play that and i'll play infinite as well why not yeah why not um yeah sure um, like I said, there isn't much. We're a bit thin on the ground for gaming news this week because nothing exciting is happening. Um, but the Watch Dogs 2 protagonist has apparently been leaked by its voice actor or motion caption actor. Either nice. way. Um, it is uninteresting as the last guy's. <laughs> it last hasn't game's... been confirmed, okay. but the guy has a cap. Right. He has a bandana over his face. <laughs> okay. Um, he has a messenger bag. Right. And he has a smartphone. Of course. So it's exactly the same as uh, the guy who was in the first Watch Dogs. However, this one's wearing glasses. Oh my God. <laughs> this hasn't been Iconic confirmed glasses. yet, but I mean, you know, it, it looks like this is probably what's going to happen and this game will be released at some point in the near future without yeah. question because I, th- I think regardless of critical reception, the first one did pretty well. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a solid 7 out of 10. Yeah. From what I've heard. Um, I imagine this will probably be safe for E3. Yeah, probably. Like that. Oh yeah, definitely. See if he's coming next month. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, coming soon. Very, very soon. And we'll cover that extensively. Definitely. When it uh, when it comes around. Um, Dishonored Two has been announced and will release worldwide on November the eleventh. Sweet. First Ex- one's really good. Excited for it? Yeah, yeah. First one's great. Okay. I like it a lot. Um, so yeah, more of the same, please. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll be happy side. Fair year. enough. I'm not that bothered by it. No, I didn't. I thought the first one was okay. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was overrated. Oh right, okay. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> I, I just it just wasn't for me. Yeah, okay, that's fair. It's not all games were fair. But uh, a lot of people are excited about it, so a big deal will be made of it, and uh, it's coming out in November. Cool. Yeah, that is basically it for gaming news. Pretty much. But <laughs> we're going to run going through on. the uh, the May releases. There's quite a lot of good games coming out this month. Cool. Um, so Battleborn came out yesterday, May third. On yeah. PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Great. I have it, and I'm going to play more, like I said previously, and then we'll talk about it. Um, Super Hot. Super oh, actually, hot. I didn't realize this had come out. Super Hot. Yes, it came out the other day, I think. Yesterday. Yes. I on Xbox One. Mm-hmm. Xbox One only. Yes, it came out on PC a little while ago. Yeah. Um, looks awesome. I'm going to get it for sure. Uh, I didn't realize this was out, actually. I might download this later. Yeah, is it a full release? You know, is it like a. It's just a downloadable game, isn't it? Yeah, it's downloadable um, in the game. It looks very interesting. It's a first-person shooter, but it looks very interesting. Yeah, it's time only moves when you move, and you can, like, dodge in between bullets and things. Yeah. It looks really fun on the left. Cool name as well. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, okay, so I didn't realise that was releasing, so that's a nice little surprise. Um, <laughs> Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. What's that game? I don't think I've heard of that one. And, and, uh, can you believe Uncharted? we are less than a week away from this? <laughs> Bloody finally. I feel like, feel like it's going out forever ago. Oh. You've been delayed and delayed. I'm so <laughs> excited. Yeah, I'm really hyped. I have next Tuesday and Wednesday off, so I can play nice. through it and without spoilers. Nice. Um, I can't. I, I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna be good. Good. Uh, good. It's gonna yeah, be good. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, yeah it'll be you know a game. That um, this is my favorite gaming <laughs> series of all time. Wow. Uncharted okay. Two is my favorite game of all time. Wow. Okay. Um, I just cannot wait to play this. I can't wait for Nathan Drake not to die to prove you wrong. Yeah, he's gonna, it's gonna die. I'm nope, you. it's gonna happen. Nope, a thief's end. No, no, you, you've got, <laughs> you've got it twisted. It's not, that's not how, that's not what it means. It's too obvious as well. Yeah, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, we will see. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I can't wait. It's gonna be amazing. We'll talk about it next week as well on the podcast. Yeah, we, we, we won't say who, if he died or not. No, no, no. We'll, 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 give, we'll give it a, we'll give it, you we'll know, a few a few, <laughs> we'll give it a few weeks until uh, we talk about it. Yeah. Um, so that comes out May 10th. That's a worldwide release on PlayStation 4. Cool. I'm just, I'm just imagining the end of the game and uh, if uh, Nathan Drake's like on his deathbed and he dies, I'm like, hooray, that was right. <laughs> it's a really sad moment. I'm just like, yes. <laughs> Suck it, Sonny. It's not going to happen. <laughs> not going to happen. We'll see. Okay. Um, also next week, another big release. Uh, May 13th, so that's the Friday. Mm-hmm. Doom is released cool. on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Cool. Excited? Um, yes. Um, from what we've seen, it looks very fast and exciting. Um, I've read mixed things after the open beta. Yeah, I've, I've read mixed things. Um, to me, it looks fine. Um, I'll probably buy it and play it. Yeah, basically, sure. basically, the campaign. Not too first about multiplayer games, but 
Yeah, I'm not too bothered about any multiplayer aspect. That's why I didn't bother with the beta. Yeah, um, although to be fair, the map designer thing looks pretty cool. Okay. Because you can just like design, design your own maps and things like that. And That's funny. got you written all over it. Um, yeah, I'll probably give it a go. But we'll, we'll, make, we'll make anything good, but I'll give it a try. Um, <laughs> I am... It, the, I, I'm, I'm unsure. Yeah? Right, I, lo- I like the look of it. I like the fact that there's a new Doom coming out. Yeah. And I will buy it and play through the campaign. But I'm not as excited as I think I should be. No, I think I know, I know what you mean. You know? It's, it's for, for a new Doom, which you haven't had in well, many, many years. Since uh, Doom 3 on Xbox 360. No, just on Xbox. Uh, yeah, the Xbox and PC. They they remastered it and brought it out, but a brand new Doom we've not had since uh, the Xbox and Doom, is it Doom 3? Doom, Doom, Doom 3, Doom 3 yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, so yeah, it should be more exciting, I feel. But I feel like it's like, of course, it'll come out of nowhere. It like, got announced so, like, so long ago, then they make a new game, then they, everyone just forgot about it. But this is what worries me about it. It's going to come back like, oh, by the way, Doom, here it is. Yeah, this is it, it concerns me a little bit. Mm. Because I don't, I don't know if it's going to be rushed. Surely not. I mean, Bethesda are pretty screwed on as far as sort of making these games. I mean, look how great the two Wolfenstein games that we've had so far this gen. Yeah, that's what excites me. That's what gets, makes them feel better. Yeah, about I agree. the whole thing because the Wolfenstein games are great. Um, if it's got the same level of polish as they did, then I'm all for it. Um, yeah, I just, I just hope it's excellent. I hope it's really good. Yeah, uh, I am looking forward to it, but not as much as I should be. Yeah. Um, here's same. one for you. Okay. Uh, Disney Art Academy on 3DS. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, that yeah, okay, that's that, that's that. Um, uh, 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 apparently, the Pokemon Art Academy game was uh, really good from what I've heard. Oh uh, right, okay. This so, is I didn't know if this I didn't realize this was a thing. Yeah, I think there are a few Art, Art Academy games. Uh, there's Pokemon one a little while ago. Right. Uh, but it's from all accounts, it's pretty good. So if you're into drawing, want to learn how to draw, and you like Disney, then why not do a drawing? Okay, or don't. Who 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 knows? Who yeah. cares? Who cares? <laughs> um. I have a 3DS, but I won't be picking it up. Yeah, same. Um, May 17th, which is also a Tuesday release. Mm-hmm. So Disney Art Academy is out May the 13th, same day as Doom. So tough competition for Doom <laughs> that day. Yeah. Um, mistake for Doom. by Mistake by Bethesda bringing it out the same day as Disney Art Academy. Oh, yeah, clearly. clearly there's going to be some sort of competition there. We'll follow this up, see what the sales are like. But <laughs> I'm predicting big things for Disney Art Academy. Yeah. <laughs> This better not come back to bite me in the face now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, the greatest 3DS game ever made. Yeah, Disney Art Academy. Academy just sold like a gazillion copies in its first day. <laughs> um, okay, so four days later. Uh, this is a big one, I think. I think people are excited for this one. I'm not myself, but okay. uh, Homefront The Revolution. Oh, uh, yeah. It yeah. releases May 17th, which is a Tuesday release. Cool. For um, PC, seen... PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Sorry. Cool. Uh, I've seen good things. I've seen bad things. Um, it looks like it uses the uh, Fallout. Pull out no, uh, bloody Far Cry engine. Uh, oh, okay. Looks very similar. Um, like certain animations and things, like the way is, you heal. Is it online or? Um, I think it's single player only. Oh, might, is it? It might have online aspects as well, but I think it's mostly single player. Oh, see, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was like an online thing, like an MMO or something. All oh, right, no, it's like a um, it's like Far Cry, but in like war time zone. It's like uh, town. I quite look it up actually. Okay. Um. Right. Um, but uh, people are excited about it. I don't know enough about it. I've not looked into it at all because I just thought it was on an online thing. So I just thought, Meh, I'm not going to enjoy it. So I'm not going to look into it. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's, uh, America's been... Uh, 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 uh. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. The story is America has been taken over by uh, North Korea. Uh, oh, shit. Nice uh, realistic scenario there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, and you're trying to fight back and do what you can as like a rebel. So it's open world. It's a revolution. Yeah, it's an open world game, single player. Uh, let's have a look in the about section of this website. Are you on Wikipedia? Uh, I'm on the Homefront uh, home webpage. Oh, okay. Homefront-game.com. There you go. Story: Four years into the brutal military occupation, America is on its knees. <laughs> Philadelphia, once the birthplace of independence, has become a ghetto where surveillance drones and armored uh, armored patrols keep the population at heel, crushing any dissent with savage force. Her once proud citizens live in a police state, forced to collaborate just as arrive. Their dreams of freedom long since extinguished. But in the badlands <laughs> of the Red Zone, uh, in the bombed out streets and the abandoned subways, a resistance is forming. A gre- <gasps> oh my god. A guerrilla force determined to fight for their freedoms despite overwhelming odds and ignite the second American revolution. Oh, but right, okay. The freedom always has a price. Oh, that is standard America, that is. <laughs> yeah. Um, Fair enough. Overview. Uh, so it's an open world first version shooter where you must lead the resistance movement in guerrilla warfare against the superior military force. So yeah, open world 
single player, just have an online mode. Or you can play sing single player or co-op. So you can play with your friends, uh, similar to Far Cry 4. Uh, yeah, looks pretty good. You that sounds quite interesting, actually. <laughs> the bike was cool. Uh, yeah, that sounds quite interesting. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it. I might see how it's... Sort of, I mean, there's going to already there, Uncharted 4 and Doom are going to take up a ton of my time. Yeah, this exactly. Month, so. um, I might want to hold off until later in the year, maybe. Yeah, I might, uh, I might finish Uncharted 4 and Doom and then see what, where we're at with Homefront at that point. Yeah, good Because there's still some other stuff that comes out this month that I'm interested in, so... <laughs> Jesus, Busy month. expensive month. <laughs> Getting all out before you 3 Yeah. Um, same day. Okay. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Okay. Uh, Valkyria Chronicles Remastered. Ah, yes. Okay. That's uh, originally a PS3 exclusive. Uh, it's, a PS, it's on PS4. It's on PS4 now, yes. Mm. Um, it was a military strategy RPG. Uh, Japanese, which I should love, but for some reason I just couldn't get into it. Okay. Uh, I played it again on PC. Actually. No, what PC? No, I tried playing it again on PS3, I think. Uh, I still couldn't get into it. And... Well, I don't know why. God's not into that strategy uh, stuff, I guess. What I realise is, while I'm reading this, uh, Valkyria Chronicles Remastered is coming out May 17th as well, which is a Tuesday release, which means um, I think that probably comes out on the Friday here. All right, okay. That I do sense. think Homefront is a Tuesday release, though. Okay. Here, in the UK. Sure. Um, You've got the American website there, have you? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Ah, okay, good. Um, and finally, right, this is coming out, Shadow of the Beast on PlayStation 4. Okay. It looks interesting. It's a downloadable game only. Mm -hmm. um, so that will be coming May 17th, which is a Tuesday release as well. Um, it looks quite interesting. How about this one? Uh, should, should have, a look for, have a look at the trailer. It's good. Not, not right now, obviously. But <laughs> <laughs> I guess to look at the website. It looks, uh, it looks pretty cool. Cool. I'm interested by it, I think. I'm not going to buy it just yet, because again, there's just fucking tons of games coming out. <laughs> um, Total War Warhammer. The oh, week yeah. after May twenty fourth on PC. Cool. Okay. Care about that? Uh, not really. Not, okay. not really into Warhammer, but Total War games apparently quite good. Um. So yeah, if you like Warhammer, you like Total War. Yeah, sure. Why not? You. Why not? Uh, another big one, May twenty fourth, Overwatch on PS four, PC, and Xbox One. Mm, big huge one. Uh, a new IP from Blizzard. Uh, not every day you see that. Uh, Blizzard are huge, obviously huge PC game, uh, mostly. Well, they used to be. Uh, developer. And yeah, it's the first new IP in many, many years. So a lot of excitement around it. Uh, Finally, from the beta, a lot of people are saying it's really, good, really, really, really good. So want to keep an eye out for. Yeah, I'm interested in that. Yeah, um, So I know we touched on it at the beginning of the show, but I'm interested in that. And I, I think this coming out is going to affect Battleborn. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah. <laughs> as, as I said earlier, I'm not a huge um, online shooter guy, but... Uh, just considering it's like from Blizzard and it's the first time the RP is had to did this from that. Yeah. Uh, I'm interested in that. Um, I'll probably get it because it looks really cool. I was interested in it before um, I considered Battleborn anyway. Yeah. So uh, I'll pick <clears> that up. I think that looks quite cool. That I imagine that's a big release so it's going to be a Tuesday release as well here. Mm -hmm. Big releases tend to be now. Yeah, they tend to be. Uh, yeah. Um, that looks really good. We'll talk about that more anyway when uh, when we get it. Yeah. So we could share our thoughts. Yeah, we'll play the beta this week as well. Yeah. Oh, there's an open beta actually starts tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I think later this week at some point. I'll have a look at that. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, this is one I am interested in. Okay. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. Oh, yeah. So that's um, PC. Yes, it is. And that's what that's why I'm interested in it. <laughs> yeah, same here. Um, finally, a good, a good looking Turtles game. Yeah. So Not one of these dross movie tie-ins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm uh, one of the few kids growing up who didn't grow up with uh, the Turtles. So I'm not um, kind of nostalgia for it. But the fact it's being made by Platinum, it has my interest from that, basically. It looks great as well. Yeah, it um, That's on PC, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. 360, well, wow, okay. It says here that it's the same day as Overwatch. I'm not convinced it is. I actually think it's the week after. All right, okay. Um, but that it might be coming out in America first. Fair play. Um, I know um, it's not a movie tie-in. Despite the fact that there is a movie coming out the same week, uh, yeah, I think it's just uh, the one to the game. But apparently, we're like, yeah, we don't don't want anything to do with this crappy new movie, so we're just gonna yeah. do our own thing. <laughs> which which is much better. Yeah, because you, you get the best of both worlds. Again, this is the same thing with like Ratchet and Clank, and again, this is a cheap game. Again, this is not like a full price sixty pound release. Yeah, it's like forty pounds, I think. Yeah, I think so. It's definitely a budget one. Yeah, 
So, um, you know, parents send the kids to watch the film. They come out. Oh, there's a new Turtles game out. Let's get it. Yeah. Um, Smart. Smart uh, business. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to go through all of the stuff here because there's some crap coming out of this one as well. Um, Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter, May 27th. I don't know if that's a follow-up to Quiet Crimes and Punishment. Sure. Might be. Crimes and Punishment <laughs> was uh, an Xbox Games with Gold game a couple of months back. Yep. I played it. Well, this one. It was pretty boring. Yeah. To be honest. But whatever you're into. Yeah. I've had mixed things. Um, highly rated and raved about Oxen Free. Right, okay. Uh, hits PS4 May 31st. Neat. Name sounds familiar. Couldn't tell you what it was. Apparently it's a PC game. Apparently it's uh, much loved. Cool. Um, these dates that I'm reading out, they're Tuesdays, right? Because I've got the American schedule in front of me here. Okay, fair enough. Um, I think Oxen Free might be a digital only, so it probably will come that day. Yeah. Okay. Dead Island Definitive Collection. The... Uh, collects Dead Island 1 and whatever the second one was. <laughs> yeah, Dead Island, Dead Island is the other one. Yep, not interested at all. You? No. I played the first one with a friend. It was fun, a co-op, but if I was playing on my own, I just cannot be asked. Yep, it. sucks. <laughs> um, Fallout 4, Far Harbor DRC. Uh, yep, I'll be down in that. Cause... It just says May. Is it coming out? It is coming out soon, though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I've seen a trailer for it just, uh, before it came here, actually. Uh, so probably within the next couple of weeks it'll be out. Yeah. They're getting this content out pretty quick for Fallout. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, good. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it for May as far as good releases goes but there's a lot of them so uh, well, that's, that's good cool okay so moving on we were asked a question um, by one of our listeners we were uh, on Twitter a good question this is uh, this is from at Bunny Suicider okay um, he writes are there any games you feel are the perfect example of their genre like the perfect platformer or FPS game? Mm. This is an interesting question. Yes. What are we thinking about? Um, I'll let you take the lead on this. Okay. Sure. So my idea of a perfect game would be something that um, like delivers on the creator's vision like perfectly. Like there's no flaws. Um, it's just they've made the game that they wanted to make. And, you know, it's perfect in that, in, in that way. Um for me, that would be something for mod- like a modern example would be something like Bloodborne, because um, that game I I couldn't find a flaw with Bloodborne as I, as much as I try. <laughs> it, for me, it's a perfect game. Um, everything is super tight. Um, you can tell a lot of love has gone into it. Uh, it looks amazing. The world is believable, and it's just you can tell um, Miyazaki had an idea, and he would had the um, the budget and the capabilities to make what he wanted to make and I don't think anyone anything was like held back um, so yeah I think that's kind of, kind of my idea of what a perfect game would be okay um, any thoughts um, you would know more about that sort of genre than me <laughs> okay I mean it's an action RPG it is um, sort of. that's what that's, that's what they label it as yeah sure I guess <laughs> um It probably, I mean, if that, if you're going with that, and I take your word for that, one hundred. Cool. Okay. <laughs> uh, for me, um, the a perfect example. I mean, I'm a, I'm an action adventure kind of guy. Cool. Um, you know, when you chuck different elements in there, it works out very, very nicely. Um, Metal Gear Solid for me, the nice. first one. Good choice. The the PlayStation One Metal Gear Solid. Okay. Is just outstanding in every way. Still. Yeah. Like, you, you can download it now, play it on your Vita, or if you've got a, a PS3 or whatever, you can still play it now. And it still holds up impeccably. Yeah. Like definitely. The graphics are obviously fairly crummy, as you know, as far as modern times goes. Mm-hmm. But for when it came out, I remember when I first played Metal Gear Solid, um, I played the Japanese demo. It, it came with Pro Evolution Soccer 98. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I thought then, it had English subs. Obviously, otherwise, what the hell? Yeah. Um, I thought then, I thought, this is outstanding and I have to play it. I yeah. have to play the full release when it comes out. And I was only young at this point. I mean, uh, it came out, what, 97? Sounds about right. So I was 13. I wasn't even actually old enough to play the game. Hmm. Um, but I don't know. It just has everything. Like, um, the world is believable. Mm-hmm. And the storyline is is perfect it, it has everything it has you know emotion it has action it has it has everything so that to me is the perfect example of storytelling 
and action in video games. Yeah, I agree. It's yeah, you can't get any. We talk about video games just in general, like storytelling and gameplay. Mm. Uh, you you got to bring up Metal Gear Solid because it's the best. <laughs> it is. It's it's, it's so good. Yeah. Twin, it, twin, the, 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 we made it on GameCube, Twin Snakes. Yeah. Which is also very good. Uh, which, you, if you want nowadays, you will be paying through the teeth for. Uh, yep. We'll just go out my house and play it. Oh, do you have it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's excellent. I, yeah. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, you could talk about this all day. I mean, if you were going to sort of lit, go down the genre list. Yeah. And, you know, you know, you could go, you know, what's the best FPS? What defines, what what's the, the defining first person shooter? Yeah, you could go. Happen. You could you could do this for forever. Yeah, I believe um, we really missed without mentioning Persona Four as far as start story saying and stuff goes. Mm. Um, amazing JRPG, probably probably my personal favorite game of all time. Um, it's just the characters in that game are just so likable and so believable, and it's all uh, built around like a like a murder mystery storyline. So, would you say that's the perfect example of a JRPG? Yes, perfect example of what they were going for. Um, because there's not really any other JRPGs like the Persona games. Mm-hmm. It's like a, like a, almost like a dating sim as well. It's got so many different elements in there. So, if you, um, like, so I mean, the, the question is sort of, you know, the way I sort of perceive it is like, if you were going to sort of direct a person to a game of a specific genre, mm-hmm. so someone comes up to you and says, oh, you know, uh, I want to start getting into JRPGs, what would you say is the perfect example of what I should go for. Yeah. Um, oh, man, that's a tough question. Um, as for perfect examples of JRPGs, it's like classic JRPGs, probably go for something like Final Fantasy VII. Um, probably my personal favorite Final Fantasy game. Uh, or some up at six, because six is like traditional 2D, and then go up to seven, it's like jump into 3D. But yeah, if you want something a bit different, one more like a, like an amazing story wrapped around awesome characters and just good RPG gameplay. Um, then yeah, Persona, Persona three and four, yeah, uh, four mainly. So I mean, it's like I said, I mean, we could go down the list here and reel off the game that we think is <laughs> yeah. the most perfect, but we'd be here forever with genres and then subgenres and all that sort of stuff. Definitely. But it, <clears throat> the question itself is an excellent question. It is because yeah, I mean, we could probably do a whole hour or so podcast just on the question. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should at some point. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe do a whole podcast around it. But yeah, but we wanted to touch on it because when we got the question through, we didn't have a chance to do it on episode ten because of the payback stuff. Yeah, but we wanted to touch on it, but it really does make you think. Definitely. So we've only touched on two genres of games there. Yeah, pretty much. Um, you went for well three if you go for the JRPG as well. So yeah, it's 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 a great question. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think we should spend more time on it. We should. I think maybe we should dedicate uh, a podcast to it. Yeah, we'll talk about this episode or something. Yeah, absolutely. But it's a great question uh, at Bunny Suicider on Twitter. Yes, thank you for the we question. We appreciate it. So, um, yeah, that's, that's really good. Yeah, thank you very much. More questions, please. Yes, more questions. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's great that p- people are asking questions. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, it's, it's, it's just nice to see. Definitely. Absolutely. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll touch on that more in a, in a, in a future episode. Um, I'm lost. I've completely lost where I am. Here. Yeah. Um, is that it with video game stuff now? I actually can't stop thinking about Metal Gear Solid now. I won't play <laughs> yeah. It, but yeah. yeah. Um, Maybe we should play it. Yeah, that that really is pretty much it does wrap up the um the video game stuff. Mm-hmm. Sort of wasted half an hour talking about nothing really. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Like it's just, oh, just stuff. That was, that was an interesting. Interesting conversation. Absolutely. Question. Yeah. Someone will like it. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> um. Okay. So payback was this past Sunday. It was. How do you feel? Let about down. Payback. Let down. Kind of uh, bored. <laughs> the whole thing. It's like with like the the teasing something was going to happen. And they can't just they're like teasing. Oh, something's going to happen. It's a new re- start. Of a new era. It's all going to change. And then it's like <laughs> nothing happened. The whole show. It's yeah. like ah, oh, come on. There's some good matches on there. Um, which we'll go through in a minute. Um, but in general, bleh, is my <laughs> my reaction. I felt yeah. the same. I was sort of dejected by it. Yeah. Um, because we talked about it, we were like, "Oh yeah, you know, this this could happen. This could." We were throwing out all these like possible scenarios. <laughs> yeah. And then we even Jake's like, "Wouldn't it be funny if nothing happened?" He was like, "Yeah, that'd be funny." And then nothing happened. Yeah, <laughs> we like, it wasn't funny. 
If it wasn't funny at all. <laughs> yeah, I think we jinxed it. <laughs> I think we did. Um, oh, man, it was... <sighs> that, that That's how I feel about Payback. <laughs> yeah, that's a big sigh. Yeah. Um, let's go through um, the card, starting with the pre-show. Okay. Uh, because there's an interesting side, to- side topic coming out of the pre-show here. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so... First on the pre-show was... Surprisingly, I didn't know this was going to happen because yeah. I don't think they announced it till late. Yeah. Is um, Dolph Ziggler versus Baron Corbin? Yeah, I thought this what? for sure would be on the main card. Yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Especially with a new guy, Baron Corbin. Yeah, want to build him up and look good, and but they jump on the pre-show. Why? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, I don't know why that happened. No, I don't. He came out. He had some new pay-per-view trousers to wear. <laughs> yes, yeah, brand new. Yeah, new trousers. <laughs> and he lost. Yeah, he did lose. Yeah, didn't he? Weird. The loss Weird. with a roll up as well. Yeah. So it's not a, not a good win, not a good loss. No. It Weird. wasn't like he was sort of, you know, zigzag, lose that way. He lost by a roll up. We didn't. I think they're trying to just like put out the storyline a bit more. It's probably going to wrestle again at Extreme Rules. Yeah, pro- I think Extreme Rules is going to be um, like a mirror card of payback. Yeah, probably. With stipulations. Yeah. So it was an interesting one to have Corbin lose. Mm-hmm. But like you said, I think they probably just want to carry this on. Yeah, I think it'd be payback in general. Just a lot of build-up for future stuff. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's an okay match. I went back and watched it. I wasn't going to watch the pre-show, but I had um, some good things. So I went back and watched it. And, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, it was okay. It was mm, yeah, fine. It serves a purpose. Fill, fill some time on the pre-show. Yeah, exactly. If this was on the main... like Obviously, we'll, we'll go to the main car in a minute, but the main car was three hours anyway. Yeah, if, it was. If that was on it, and if the tag match would have gone for as long as it probably should, was supposed to, yeah. that card would have been long. That's true, yeah. Um, um, instead, they had like a half an hour talking segment with a bit yeah, man, but we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then we had the United States Championship match. Mm. Uh, nobody expected this match to be good. Uh, nope. Amazingly, it was great. <laughs> yeah. He, he's, know, he's, he's just like... Uh, uh, easily Wyback's best match he's ever had, uh, by far. Uh and he lost. Great. And he lost. He still, but he looked good doing it. He looked look good losing. If that makes sense. It does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He looked good in his loss. Yeah. Much like Baron Corbin did. I mean, he, yeah. looked, he looked strong in his loss. Pretty much. And um, also, someone taught White back how to be a heel. <laughs> he did the like CM Punk thing on the top of the <laughs> ramp in Chicago. It's like, yeah, nice. I see what you're doing there. And he had like free show stopper on his belt thing. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. I like, I like this new White back. Yeah, because I mean, more please. <laughs> before. Um, before this match, he was saying how disappointed he was uh, to be on the pre-show at WrestleMania. Yeah. So to punish him, they put him on the pre-show on this one as well. Yeah. Um, but he had a good. He, I think he did the best thing uh, he could have done in that situation, which is put on a really good match and yeah. shows that he deserves to be on the main card. Uh, absolutely. Um, the finish was cool as well. Yeah. Um, I liked just before the finish, he did the like a gorilla press uh, from the top rope. Yeah, that's huge. Which uh, really grabbed the attention of the cr- the, the crowd. So yeah. there's like a lot of oohs and ahs. Um, that was really cool. Definitely. Um, so it was great. It was good to see good to see Kalisto and Ryback put on a great show. Mm-hmm. Surprisingly, Kalisto retained, but I think this has something to do with what's coming next. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we didn't talk about our predictions. Um, so Ziggler and Corbin, we all said uh, Corbin's going to win. Yep. We were all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> no points. And for Kalisto and Ryback, uh, you and Steve, guess the show, and the show, Steve, uh, said. Uh, Ryback to win I say Kalisto would win so that's a one point to me ding. right so one, one point to you ding ding <laughs> okay anyway wait wait so the last couple of days um, Ryback has sort of come out and um, said a few things uh, about the pay in WWE alright okay okay um, this that, yeah. has apparently led to him being well he said in like a lengthy post that he were he requested to be sent home from TV. Right, he okay. requested to be off TV. Uh, Vince McMahon agreed. This is apparently something to do with um, Ryback's contract is up in the summer. Okay. Okay. And obviously he wants a renewal, but um, you know I think it's a case he wants more money. Mm, okay. Um, he's come out and sort of said that all the performers should be paid equally because wrestling is predetermined. So how can one person get paid more than somebody else? Yeah. I, I sort of see where he's coming from, but at the same time, I disagree. Is equal. Yeah. 
this is, I mean, he's, as I put this on Twitter earlier on, but he's fighting a losing battle with this. Yeah, I think so. Because this is never going to happen. No. Uh, and I'm going to use John Cena as an example here, okay. and side by side with Ryback. So when John Cena is active, and when he's uh, when he's when he's around, and this will be no different when he comes back in a few weeks, mm-hmm. um, the arena, whether the crowd love him or hate him, will be filled with John Cena t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, that's because John Cena is the top guy. People love John Cena, so he's bringing in a shit ton of money by t- through t-shirt sales. And wristband sales and cap sales and posters and everything. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so John Cena is worth big money to WWE. Um, so therefore, WWE pays him big money. Yep. How many Ryback t-shirts do you <laughs> see in the crowd week in, week out? Uh, zero. Does Not he, many. Does he even have a t-shirt? <laughs> yeah, he has that Feed Me More t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Right. But the thing is... I think if anybody's not seen rare, that t-shirt is him. It's Ryback. <laughs> yeah. People... Don't really like Ryback. Yeah. Right. And people won't buy Ryback's merchandise because they don't like Ryback. Mm. I mean, you could argue that, you know, oh, you know, it's to do with the booking and all this sort of stuff. WWE have tried with Ryback. (laughs) Yeah, they really have. It just doesn't work. People would rather chank. They would probably buy a Goldberg t-shirt over a Ryback (laughs) t-shirt. Yeah, definitely. Just to piss Ryback off because they don't like him. So... When you when you look at it like that, when you look at somebody like Cena who's bringing a ton of money into the company, um, who's making a ton of money for the company, I should say, and then you look at you know compare him to somebody like Ryback who isn't you know doesn't resonate with the fans, isn't selling merchandise, you know on anywhere near the scale that John Cena is. Yeah. Why should Ryback be paid the same amount as John Cena? Yeah. When he's not doing the same job. Exactly. They're doing the same job, but they're not doing the same job, if you understand what I mean. Yeah, I see, I see what you mean, yeah, definitely. So, Ryback is without question fighting a losing battle here, because it just isn't going to happen. Yeah. Um, Val Venus, of all people, have sort of piped up on Twitter right. in, you know, um, you know, basically echoing what, I, what I've just said there. You know, it just isn't going to happen. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> excuse me. You, you're trying to tell me that Tyler Breeze should be paid the same amount as The Undertaker. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, that's true. You yeah, know? it's not gonna not gonna happen. There's there's levels in WWE. You're either, you know, yeah, I understand it's predetermined, and the matches, the results are are predetermined. But it's what you do to elevate yourself and the company. Yeah, that's going to help you out. Definitely. You know. So Ryback is, in my opinion, wrong. I've seen some people come out in defense of Ryback. Uh, JTG apparently <laughs> said it in the book that he wrote. All these guys got fired from WWE. <laughs> Can we go in defense? <laughs> that's, that's the thing, you see. <laughs> so, you know, people like JTG, who wasn't even on TV every week. No. He... So why should he be paid the same amount as the likes of John Cena? Exactly. He wouldn't seem for like the last two years he was employed by WWE. Yeah. <laughs> like he'd appear on Superstars once in, once every three or four months. Yeah. But he want he thinks he should be paid the same amount as the top guys. That's yes, that's, that's it crap. It is. I agree. It just shouldn't be like that. Um, I mean, you know, I mean, I'm not a professional wrestler. Neither are you. Nope. So we 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 aren't part of the business. So you know, should we? Do we have a a place to talk? No. No. Really. But we're looking at it from a from a different standpoint. Yeah, from like a common sense standpoint. <laughs> yeah. From like the outside looking in. Yeah, from the outside looking in. Now, whether you respect our opinion or not. It's still our opinion. Yeah. It's, yeah. And we're it's, entitled it's to it. It's on the internet. Who cares? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So um, that, that's what I think of it. I, I don't think... Um, I don't think Ryback's going to come out of this in a good way. No, probably not. Um, it's a shame because if we keep spinning on matches like we did last night, then I'd, very, I'd be very happy to buy a Ryback t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, we'll contribute to Ryback's future. Yeah. But... I I don't think um, I mean he even said in his little statement that uh, I say it's not little it's a bloody long statement <laughs> but yeah. um, it's, you know it says at the end WWE may very well release me mm. um, and I think that might be the case I think it will be um, yeah. not because Probably he's right. come out and said this about the equal pay because no. others have said it before just for the way he is outspoken I'm not sure WWE is a big fan of it I'm not sure Vince McMahon is a fan of it yeah it's never like to see someone lose a job but don't see him being there much longer, sadly. Nope. Um, and it is a shame, but 
you know, there's a certain way to carry yourself, especially when you work for a massive company like WWE. Yeah. Um, I just feel like he's gone about it the wrong way. Yeah, I agree. It's uh, don't need to be out in the open. Don't need dirty laundry and all that. Yep. <laughs> um, before we go on to the main card of Payback and talk about that, mm-hmm. there's somebody else, uh, Adam Rose. We talked about that the other oh, yeah. week as well on the podcast. Uh, last on episode on the last episode, episode ten. Um, obviously, he'd been suspended for the wellness policy violation. Oh yeah. He's obviously he's now released a doctor's letter of his doctor that disagrees with the decision. Okay. Just leave it. Accept <laughs> your suspension. Accept that you've put something in your body that shouldn't have been there and that has therefore violated the WWE wellness policy. I'm sure that WWE issues probably a list of stuff that you can and can't use. Yeah. I mean, if you've got a fair reason to, like, a fair dispute, then fair enough, but I don't know. But take don't release it publicly. Yeah, just take it to Vince and be like, hey, is that- Take it to HR. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take it to WWE HR and and dispute it that way. Releasing it in the into the public, you're not you're not doing yourself any favors. No. So I think it also may be the last we see of Adam Rose. Yeah. So when the next round of releases comes through, I think Adam Rose might be on it. It would surprise me. Yeah. Um. Okay. So let's move on to the main show. Okay. Go. Right. So the first match, um, a new day came out to announce it. Um. It was the final in the tag team tournament sponsored by videos. They, they make, make sure, sure you ain't booty. booty. Uh, perfect. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, then that's the uh, the competitors. So it was Enzo and Cass versus the Ward Villains. Um, which could have been a really good match. Uh, sadly, poor Enzo, um, shortly into the match, uh, suffered quite a bad concussion. Mm. It was knocked out cold. Uh, oh, man, it looked so bad. It did. They felt the need to replay it over and over and over again just to make it sink in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cheers, WWE. Yeah, I mean that made people question its legitimacy. For sure, yeah. Uh, it's like, yeah. oh, they kept showing it. Is it really that bad? But yeah, I mean, the, you, it, it was that bad. Yeah, you could tell Cass was broken up and worried about it. Yeah, and absolutely. New day were concerned. It's horrible. I mean, I, I remember I, I saw it and I was like, oh, Jesus, man, this is putting a real downer on. <laughs> yeah. This whole thing. I mean, bad way to start. It's a really, it's not a good omen for the pay. Not a good sign for the rest of the pay per view. Yeah. So um, it, it was. Uh, he basically bounced his head, bounced off the middle rope, and then. Like uh, bounced off into the floor like really fast, um, like with last kind of effect, and like knocked around cold. Very nasty. Uh, very very nasty. Get well um, soon. The match ended straight there. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, they, they they called the match straight away. Um, didn't announce. Well, they, they didn't even announce it. They just called the match. Yeah, they didn't know when this is. End is up. <laughs> Subsequently, yeah. the Vord villains are fighting the New Day. Uh, for the tag team titles at Extreme Rules, yeah, it made me think he was probably going to win in the first place. That's what that's what's been uh, been sort of stated in the wrestling press ah, okay, that the Lord Villains were due to go over. Ah, okay, fair enough. So, on that note, that's a point to me. Um, let's see, and, and a no... point to you, and a point to Steve as well. Yeah, yeah, point to all of us. Yeah, sorry, ding ding star. ding. What's my on my mind for a little bit there? <laughs> but yeah, we all said Warren to win, and we were all right. Hooray. And unfortunately, it did happen in unfortunate circumstances. Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah. sorry, Enzo, get well soon. But the the photos that came out afterwards, of oh, yeah. Enzo in the hospital with Kevin <laughs> Owens and Big Cass, they're, they're funny. Yeah, and uh, Enzo's out of hospital. Yes, good. And thankfully, well, obviously he won't be on WWE TV for a couple of weeks. I'm not sure what their stance on um, time off with concussions is. I yeah. know they're very strict with it, so it might be a few weeks before we see Enzo mm-hmm. again. Probably, but it's good to see him doing well. Yes, Monster absolutely. That, absolutely. That picture you retweeted with uh, uh, Kevin Owens. It's really funny. Just like just really random. It's like Enzo is in his. Like uh, you got his hospital gown, hospital gown, yeah, yeah. and big ass down the suit, <laughs> all things. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? I think with WWE, you you're either allowed to wear a suit or you have to wear tap out gear. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They are the rules, and they're, they're so uh, Enzo, uh, sorry, Cass obviously goes for uh, the suit. <laughs> yeah, he looks sharp. Fair enough. Yeah, fair play. I don't imagine Enzo in a suit, but I think he probably does have to wear one. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. So next match, probably the match of the night, easy the match of the night in my opinion. Um, Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. Easily the match of the night. Yeah, it was it amazing. Was, it was excellent. Everyone expected it to be good, and it was. Uh, <laughs> I wish Michael Cole hadn't have called um, like a little power slam, uh, the Blue Thunderbomb. <laughs> yeah, it's a Blue Thunderbomb. Twice. Bomb. And then the Blue Thunderbomb. Or... What, when he did the real one? <laughs> yeah. Did, oh, another version of the Blue yeah. Thunderbomb. Oh, the traditional version, that's what he called it. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> the traditional Blue Thunderbomb. Cheers. <laughs> nice goal. You this was you. an awesome <laughs> match. It was so good. So good, it spilt into the next match. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's all predictions. Um, you and me said uh, Sammy Daniel win. Steve said 
Owens does win, and Steve was right. Owens won the match. So Ding. That's two points to me and Steve, and one point to Zoe. Yeah. Um, but this match was so good. Like the, the spots were good, the moves were good. They know each other so well. Yeah. That's why um, I'm glad this is going to go forward. Yeah, definitely. So they're definitely going to fight in some capacity, possibly for the IC title. Possibly. Well, um, way, wasn't he? Yeah, maybe. But so, yeah, you're right. He did spill into the next match. Kevin Owens was the star of the payback for me. Oh, yeah. It's he, coming in, so. Um, he did everything that was cool about the show. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, like, he, they, they had the, you had the best match of the night. And then he also he made Byron Saxton come into the ring <laughs> after the match oh, yeah. and sort of abused Byron Saxton for a little while, um, you know, and then said how great he was. And then when Saxton announced that the IC title match was next, Kevin Owens then went on to commentary. Yeah. Which I also love. Yeah, it was great. He wore TBL's hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it's really hard to commentate in this hat with <laughs> yeah. the headset. Um, yeah, so the next match was Cesaro versus The Miz for the IC title. Yeah, they had a good match, actually. Um, so, yeah, uh, Owens was on commentary, as I said. Miz was obviously there with his wife, uh, The Moose. Uh, he got interfered a few times. Yeah. I can't remember how much, a lot about it. I don't know it was a good match. It was a good match. I mean, um, it's a good back and forth match. The Miz yeah, got yeah. some offense in, Cesaro got offense in. Um, it cut to Owens on commentary. Yeah. And then Sami Zayn came out of nowhere. Yeah, I don't know. It's jumped over the, the uh, table. Yep, started beating Kevin Owens up. Uh, that spilled around the arena for a bit while the IC title match was still going on. Yep. Um, and then in a very staged finish, <laughs> they and an obvious finish as well, like when you sort of look at it back, you're like, oh, that was, yeah. yeah. So the two of them, they, they, for some reason, they, they they came, they spilled back into the, to the ringside. Yeah. And... For some reason, climbed on the ring apron. <laughs> yeah, and they were punching each other on the ring apron. Um, Cesaro was like, "What the hell is going on?" Not the two of them off the ring apron. Uh, Miz won with a roll up. Yeah, so I think uh, because Miz was tapping out as well. Um, oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, to the sharpshooter and uh, the referee obviously referee back was turned to didn't see it. Yeah, and then there's a roll up, a cheeky roll up, and yeah, Miz won the match. So uh, I didn't like the finish. No, I didn't. I didn't like. I didn't like it at all. Yeah. I saw it and I, I shook my head and I was like, "No, that's not the way to go." Yeah, it was a shame that it ruined the match, but it was cool to see Owen and Sami Zayn continue to fight. However, um, into another match, I cool. do think this makes the IC title seem very, very strong at the minute. Yep, having four Agreed. good guys going for the belt. Yeah, definitely. US title, take note. But we'll touch on that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So it's not so much the result I had a problem with because I didn't think the Miz. Would realistically lose it, although I think I went for Cesaro in my predictions. You did. Um, but, you know, when you look at it, really, he's had the belt for a few weeks. Yeah. Since um, WrestleMania. Yeah, and he's had this whole uh, character build, being built up with Maurice. So it made sense for him to win. Do you go for the Miz to win here? Uh, yes. So me and Steve said the Miz. Uh, you took Cesaro. So that's another point for me and Steve. I'm doing well. You are. You're I'm doing really well here. <laughs> me and Steve are three points. So he had one point. Yay. Ding, ding. <laughs> All right. So next match. Was uh, Dean Ambrose versus Chris Jericho? Oh, this was good as well. It was. It was a very good match. And uh, this didn't have a screwy finish either, did it? This had a very straightforward finish. Oh yeah, it was a nice clean finish. Everything went well. Uh, Ambrose won. Yeah, uh, with thirty deeds. Such a good match. Um, Jericho sent out an interesting tweet after Extreme Rules, which looked like an attention-seeking tweet in the end. Oh yeah, because he was on Raw. <laughs> he said like, um, uh, "Thank you, WWE. It's been real." Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. Um, turns out he was on Raw the next night. So, <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I anticipate that Ambrose and Jericho are going to fight again at Extreme Rules. Probably. But uh, it was a really good match. Uh, really good back and forth match. I think it started a little slow. Um, yeah. It, you know, and it, it, it got much better as the as the match went on. Both were doing great moves, good spots. Um, ultimately, Dean Ambrose won with the Dirty Deeds. Clean finish, which... I didn't know whether to expect that or not. Yeah. I think it is. I don't know. It's good. Yeah. I think it's a right decision. Yeah, what happened after the match? Did something uh, happen after the match? I don't think so. Oh, That's pretty much it. It was just clean and Jericho rolled out the ring and that was it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Right. Either way, it was a, it was a good match and uh, <laughs> the correct result. Dean Ambrose needed a win. Yeah. Jericho, okay. not so much. Especially if he isn't sticking around after Extreme Rules, maybe. But um, Yeah, we'll see. Um, because I'd, I think we all had Dean Ambrose. Uh, yep, all Dean Ambrose. And all the whites. Yes, another point for me. Yeah. <laughs> so I now have two points, right? You have two points, it means Steve have four. Okay. So, the next match after that, another good match. Uh, ruined by a crappy finish. Awful <laughs> finish. Charlotte versus Natalia for the WWE Women's Championship. Um, 
I didn't really like the match. No? No. Oh. Um, <laughs> but again, this in part was ruined by the finish. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought I thought it was a decent match. I had a decent back and forth, uh, as you keep saying. Uh, lots of uh, uh, like submissions, lots of stuff like that. Um, I think Charlotte's after at one point, but distracted by the ref distracted by something. Um, <laughs> but it would clear going nuts. I think it was. Yeah. Um, um, I I don't know. I just something about the match just didn't click with me. Okay. Um, it wasn't as good as their NXT match. No, say that. and I think that's the problem. You see, there's such lofty expectations that were yeah. set by the two of them when they had that NXT match that you know it's going to be difficult to recreate. Definitely. And I just felt the match was it was it was okay. I mean, it, there was some. I mean, there was one point where I thought Natty might actually win, but mm. you know, it, obviously that didn't happen. But yeah. um, no, I didn't really, I didn't really like the match, and it wasn't helped by the finish. So. What happened was um, Charlotte got Natalia in the sharpshooter and they did this a really crappy, not very well pulled off <laughs> Montreal Screwjob-esque finish. Yeah, pretty much. Charles Robinson rang the bell, um, ran out of the ring, got the bell, and then that was it. The match was over. Mm-hmm. Um, this was stupid. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's capitalizing on uh, Bray Hart being there. I guess, and I guess this one did something to happen. They did the thing after the ring where they attacked uh, Ric Flair and put him in sharpshooter, and had like the double double sharpshooter. Uh, yeah, Ric Flair was getting sharpshooted by uh, Brett, obviously. And, yep. Uh, Charlotte was getting one well, Italian. I didn't. I didn't enjoy it at all. I didn't <coughs> like that whole bit. I didn't like the finish because no, it, it just seemed it seemed stupid and unnecessary. Yeah, very hard to be doing stuff like that in his division anyway. <laughs> no, and. I didn't like the double sharpshooter. I thought it felt it felt forced. I didn't like it. Um, yeah, it's dumb. This this wasn't a good showcase for the women's division. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, I've seen people say, "Oh, they they really like the match," but I didn't like it. It didn't click too well um, in a lot of parts of it. I thought it was quite slow, and the ending was appalling. It yeah. did nothing for the women's division at all. Yeah, it's like, I think it's just someone saying, "Hey, wouldn't it be funny if you did like a Montreal screw job?" Um, I've not seen all like, of Roy yet, but did they even follow that up? Um, uh, not really though. Right, so Charles <laughs> Robinson is not a dirty ref, and oh yeah, they, oh yeah, did actually, yeah, they did uh, the whole. Uh, they pointed out that uh, Charles Robinson was a little niche uh, back in WCW. Oh, did they really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so I, need to, I need to go back and watch all of Raw. Yeah, yeah, it's actually pretty funny. Um, but yeah, they did the whole thing. They that they thanked, they brought Charles Robinson out and thanked him for uh, helping win. Like, like no, did they? No, they said, oh, they like a question him. Did you help me win this match? And he said, no, and all that stuff. But I think. Uh, and uh, Natalia came down and beat him up. Or something like that. <laughs> something along those lines. Beat Charles Robinson up? No, no, no. Just beat just Charlotte. Oh. And all that. Oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't like it either way. I think it's rubbish. Yeah, it's dumb. I agree. Just have women's matches on the pay-per-view. Yeah, yeah. Just straightforward women's matches. It's a normal match. This That's is nice. a recurring theme throughout <laughs> all of our podcasts. Yeah. But get rid of Ric Flair <laughs> yeah, from take. Charlotte's side. Yeah, it's been done to death now. It's been it's it's been done ad nauseum now. Yeah, and it's to the point where the women's match on the pay per view isn't exciting. Oh, that's something they didn't know some more, by the way. Um, just remember uh, a rematch at uh, Extreme Rules. Yeah, another rematch uh, for, the, for the women's title. It's going to be a submission match, and Ric Flair's banned from inside. Oh right, okay. So yeah, we might so... actually get a decent match out of this. Yeah, it might actually be good. Uh, okay, I, well I hope so because um the women's match was just tarnished uh, by um a poor finish. Yeah, at uh, uh, payback, um, it was just stupid. Just just because Bret Hart was there, you just have to go. Th- you, you you go. You book a a very poorly executed Montreal screw job finish. Yeah, it was dumb. It was it was very very dumb. Didn't like it. I don't think anyone else did either. No. Uh, right. So that's that. Um. Oh, then we had the whole um Mr. McMahon coming down and announcing who's going to take control of Raw. Um. We did say this wasn't going to be. As clear as day. You yeah. Know, it wasn't going to be sort of, right, Shane, it's you, or Stephanie, it's you. We knew it was going to be something stupid. We either thought it was going to be someone new, mm-hmm. oh. which in hindsight was stupid. The McMahons love the TV time. Yeah. Um, or we thought there might be a brand split. Yeah. That's uh, what predictions. Um, you said there might be a brand split. Uh, Steve went for like a, a impromptu match. It was a shame it was Triple H. Whoever won got control. And I said it's going to be some someone new come in. 
from Mr. GM. So all wrong. Yep, all was completely wrong. Um, did we all have Charlotte to win, by the way? Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, uh, let's have a look. Uh, no, Steve had Charlotte to win, and you and me had Natalia. What are we doing? Oh, what? God knows. <laughs> Who it is. Uh, so that's Steve with five points in the lead, and then uh, me with four and you with two. Right. But damn Steve. <laughs> <laughs> God damn guest of the show. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, the big announcement was everything's going to continue how it has been. Yeah. Bye. Shane, Shane and Stephanie are going to run raw together. Yeah. So a whole um, half an hour to say that. It's a pretty waste of time. Yeah, it was stupid. <laughs> I mean, Shane came out. It was super over again. Yeah. Um, oh man, this is I don't I don't I don't know where this is going, and that's the problem. Mm. Did Did Vince give like a time scale or anything like that? No, just uh, both of your runs. Bro. We'll mm. see how it goes. Yeah, I don't um, I don't changed. like it. I don't like it at all. Um, this obviously they've advertised this whole new era. Mm-hmm. of WWE but um, not like the old era this <laughs> it's not got off to a good start I have to no. be honest uh, it really hasn't um, Shane and Stephanie running raw means you're going to get Stephanie on TV more uh, from what I read she was on TV at least four times this Monday yeah she's on, she's on quite a bit They're Shane both. was only on the beginning uh, yeah that's true actually yeah, yeah funny um, I, I don't like where this is going mainly because I don't know where it's going but yeah. um, it just doesn't seem it just seems stupid and pointless yeah it's weird it's a weird decision but hopefully it'll lead somewhere down the road who knows I w- you know what I wouldn't even be surprised if it doesn't yeah <laughs> and it just ends in Shane not being on TV anymore because he's going to go and run his business or whatever <laughs> and it'll just be Stephanie and Triple H in charge again when Triple H eventually returns yeah I mean yeah. I read that they want Triple H to be off TV for a little while Makes or sense. maybe even Triple H wants that yeah because um, you know he, he might be a bit beat up I don't know I know he's been on the European Tour wrestling excuse me bless you thank you <laughs> and um, I don't know so maybe Stephanie will just sort of pull the strings for a little while with Shane and then some, something crappy will happen and Shane, it'll, to write Shane off TV yeah, probably. and to get the authority back in power yeah because that's exactly what everyone wants yeah change <laughs> yeah. change yay right that was that uh, an, inter- an interesting half an hour but it wasn't at all, though, was it? That was the <laughs> it thing. wasn't, no. Um, so, after that, at the main events. Wait, before you go there. Oh, okay. Uh, the most interesting part of that whole segment was mm-hmm. when the CM Punk chants were going crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Vince was like, right, let's see how long this can go for. Yeah. He was encouraging the CM Punk chants. <laughs> he was like, oh, it was really funny. Yeah. And then then, then uh, Stephanie came out and ruined it. It's just, yeah. He's just like, oh, screw it, just let them get out of the system. Yeah, just let them <laughs> do it. Because they'll get bored eventually. And they did. And Vince is right, so. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, main events. Uh, was it straight after that? Was the main event straight after? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah. And it was uh, Roman Reigns uh, champion versus AJ Styles. Um, it was a match that happened. Oh. <laughs> it, it was a good match. It was a good episode of War match. The wrestling, <laughs> the wrestling parts of the match were great. Yeah. Um, I thought uh, Reigns did his part. I thought AJ was exceptional. I loved the phenomenal forearm. From the top rope to... Mm-hmm. Well, springboard from the top rope to the outside through the table. Oh, yeah. That's cool. It actually worked and they went through the table, which was yeah. excellent. Um, I thought AJ looked really good. Um, you know, it was believable that he could feasibly beat Reigns, uh, you know, with his with his you know varied offense and all that sort of stuff. Um, cool spot where Reigns... Also, uh, let's, let's go through it. So that's oh, yeah. how it happened. So, um Re- AJ Styles, they did the, the you know they had their back and forth. Um, AJ did the phenomenal forearm, springboard from the ropes to the outside through the announce table. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Then um, AJ had the job of all this time the referee was counting, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, AJ had the job of picking Reigns up oh, and God. throwing him back in the ring before the count of ten. Yeah, you know I forgot about all this the whole restart the wrestling. The other, <laughs> they, what I think they were trying to go with here is that AJ's significantly smaller than Reigns, yeah. so it might be a bit of a job, considering he just flown off the top rope as well and consumed a ton of energy um, to get Reigns back in. Match result: AJ got back in the ring before ten, couldn't get Reigns in there. He won by count out. Yeah, but then he just go in and go out, and when that reset the count. Well, I thought that. <laughs> I thought that's exactly what I thought. It's like yeah. right, he's got to go in and reset the match. Yeah, but he didn't do it, and I don't understand why. Yeah, it's weird. So there's weird thing number one, <laughs> yeah, right? and I thought thing. exactly the same thing. I don't know if anyone else did or not, but we thought the same. People must have if we both thought. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, so Q Shane McMahon, he comes out and says, "The main event. This is a this is a new era. Yeah. Um, the match is not ending like that. So yeah. the match will restart. No count out. Okay, fine. Okay. The match starts 
And straight away, as soon as that happened, I was like, I know what's coming next. <laughs> right. Uh, I didn't think it would happen like this. So, um, AJ, the match restarts. They they carry on doing some wrestling. Um, I think AJ could, goes for the phenomenal forum again. Okay. But into the ring this time. And... Um, oh, yeah, I think you're counted by like the Superman punch at midair. But it was a low blow. Oh, yeah, because oh, no, he came on the top rope and then he'd like... Punched him in the dick, wasn't it? <laughs> punched him straight in the dick, yeah. and um, referee blew for a DQ. Um, That's stupid. <laughs> this an accidental low blow, then what? Why? This is stupid as well. <laughs> Stephanie McMahon comes out. Yeah. Oh, payback isn't ending like this. Um, it's going to be no disqualification. Shane missed that out. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, right. I didn't didn't see this coming at all. Well, gee, what's going to happen now? Yeah. So I hope no one interferes. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, right, no disqualification. Now something's got to happen. Yeah. Right. So uh, the Gullet Blub guys come down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're sticking with it. Gullet Blub. Gullet Blub. We're going to get some Gullet Blub t-shirts made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So, the, yeah, the uh, Gallows and Anderson come down and start beating on Reigns. Mm-hmm. And think, right, okay. Um, well, then, then the Usos come down. Yeah, didn't see that one coming. Nope. <laughs> well, then they all start brawling together, so yeah. that they, you know they get they you know they there's a couple of near falls I think before the Usos come down. Maybe I'm not sure. Can't quite remember because I haven't revisited it. Don't intend to. Yeah. Um, I think you're right. Um, yeah, the Usos come down. Um, so they all start brawling. That you know the guys and Anderson and the Usos start fighting each other. Um, uh, I think AJ's amongst it as well. Mm-hmm. And then. Um, Reigns does a very nice looking swan dive outside the ring. Yep. Um, so, so well, it's not really a swan dive. It's, it, he dives outside the ring. Yeah. But when you see it dive. in slow motion, it looks very nice. Yeah. Um, he flattens uh, Gallows, Anderson, and the Usos. Yep. AJ was uh, out the way. AJ was out the way. He does a, hits a phenomenal forearm from the barricade mm-hmm. to Reigns. Rolls him back in the ring. I think great. this is going to be it. <laughs> it wasn't. Nope. <laughs> I was gutted. Um. I was. I even counted on. I, I, he was watching it while I was in Bexley. I had Monday off. <laughs> oh, we all did. It was bank holiday. You didn't. I, didn't. Um, I still wasn't there. I even like counted by slapping my hand on the bed. I was like, yes, this is finally it. <laughs> no, you screwed me out of this. <laughs> Foolishly thinking that AJ Styles could even win the match. Yeah. Um, we can dream. But then there was a very good sort of uh, exchange between the two. Some very good near falls, which made you believe that AJ could actually win. Mm-hmm. Um, so then to finish the match, AJ was again going to go for the phenomenal forearm. No, what happened was AJ did the 450 springboard. Oh, uh, yeah. He thought then he was going to win. Didn't. <laughs> okay, so he was going to go for the phenomenal forearm. He misses, rolls, Reigns comes off the other rope, spear, one, two, three, game over. Yeah. And there was about two minutes left of the pay-per-view <laughs> and that was it. Yeah. It's clear that the odds was going to happen. No. Um, wasn't like that AJ Styles lost by one spear. <laughs> Him with like all this Flannable forearms, probably splashes, and still getting done. <laughs> when Reigns is one spear, it's it. Done. Yeah. <laughs> I think AJ did kick out of a Superman punch. Yeah. I can't I think, remember. Yeah. I think she's pretty... Either way, I mean, the wrestling aspect of the match was good. Was I really hated good. the this stopping and starting of the matches. Yeah. Really. Uh, I absolutely hated it. I think it's an excuse it. to make it no disqualification so the guy didn't come down and interfere. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I thought that's, but that's when I thought something interesting was going to happen. Yeah, so yeah we, exactly. Are we going to see Finn? Uh, yeah. Seth Rollins was rumoured to be there as well. Yeah. Oh, could this happen? No, nothing happened. No, nothing. Nothing happened. So, so yeah, I, I was, I was disappointed by the fin- some of the finishes. So the big, the big finishes. I dis- didn't like the IC title finish. Didn't like the women's title finish, and didn't like the way the main event was handled. Yeah, I agree. Um, so for for that for th- for those reasons alone, I didn't enjoy payback like I thought I was going to. I was so excited for it; I thought it was going to be really good, uh, but in the end, I was disappointed. It gets a two out of five for me. Okay, uh, I like the rating system. I'll rate it as well. Uh, I'll give it a three. Three out of five. Just because Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens was really good, and Jericho and um uh, and Ambrose was good. Yeah, two really good matches. Um, and Kalisto was right back was good if you count that. Um, so a few a few good matches. Uh, shame about the tag team match. Um. Get Ross and Enzo. Um, disappointing. Disappointing championship matches, basically. Mm. All, all championship matches were yeah. a bit shite. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, two out of five from me. But we all had reigns to win in the predictions. Yeah, we did, yes. So that means um, Sunny in the is on three points. Ding, uh, ding, ding. I have five points. Ding, 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 ding. Guess the show, ding. Steve wins with six points. That bastard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And so, they went into grand totals uh, of bets and stuff so far. 
Sony has one point, I have one point, and guests of the show have one point as well. Yeah. So we're all tied up. Guests of the show is probably just going to consist of Steve throughout this year. So, pretty, uh, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> well, if we don't get anyone else on, we'll count that as in, in the same category. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that, that was payback. Raw didn't do too much to advance it, I don't think. I haven't seen it all, but I have read the results, as I always do. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, pretty much nothing major happened. And then they announced the women's, women's uh, uh, rematch, which yeah. is... Well, I said earlier, uh, submission match with Nova Claire, the very yeah, Ooh. and uh, just talk more about the uh, main event rematch, Reigns versus AJ Styles, uh, tease more uh, dissension amongst AJ Styles and the uh, Bullet Club guys. Um, Bullet Club, Bullet Club <laughs> had a cool thing at the end of the show where um, the Bullet Club were holding uh, Roman Reigns and he gave AJ Styles a chair and said, "Hit him, hit him with a chair," and he didn't. He just kind of put the chair down, and then. Other stuff happened, and yeah, <laughs> it was it was it was a cool little way to end it. Also, they won the match against Reigns and the Usos. Uh, AJ Styles pinned one of the Usos. I don't know who. That's um, the same. <laughs> quick note on the end of Payback. Okay. They had that segment with the McMahons. Oh uh, yeah, which was horrible as well. Yeah, it was like, oh, you've done a good job, and uh, oh, what should we should AJ Styles get a rematch? Like, first of all, the Vince was like, oh, let's watch the replay of this. And then the replay didn't happen. They were <laughs> yeah, like, oh, right, okay, well, don't worry about it. <laughs> we've seen it, we've seen it. And then they made the, uh, it was an awful five minute segment at the end. A couple, well, a couple of minutes. Uh, and it was horrible. Yeah. Um, basically, they just made the main event for Extreme Rules, um, which almost just made Payback look crap. and ex- <laughs> Pretty pointless, yeah. Yeah. It's, oh, this is a pointless event. Let's make the, let's, you know, quickly make the main event for the next show. Um, so yeah, that was that, and then um, so yeah, the what happened on Raw at the, at the end is what Finn just said. A couple of other notes. It looks like they're leading towards a fatal four-way intercontinental match. That makes sense with uh, Sammy, Kevin Owens, uh, the Miz, and Cesaro. Yep, which I'm excited for. That'd be great. Four yep, great absolutely. guys making the IC title division look strong. Definitely. Speaking of looking strong, mm-hmm. not Roman Reigns, but the <laughs> US title finally uh, had some uh, mention on Raw. Uh, yep. They had a number one contenders battle royal. Yes. Uh, that Rusev won. Yes. Uh, it looked like um uh bloody hell. My mind is not working today. Good. Um Zack Ryder, there it is. <laughs> Poor Zack Ryder, I can't even remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like Zack Ryder's gonna win it. Uh, with him, him and Rusev at the last two guys. Uh once again, right got screwed and thrown out. And it yeah. But this is good. I mean Rusev is you know, apart from Del Rio, is the best of the League of Nations. Yeah, that's definitely. harsh actually because all you know no, they're all separately good. they're all good. Yeah, separately but, great. Uh, I like Rusev, so I'm fairly biased. Yeah, um, but Rusev won. Uh, I don't doubt that he'll take that belt from Kalisto. I think he will. Yeah, and then hopefully you know they'll make it. The that that belt will be on TV a lot more hopefully. than it has been. The, it, it deserves it. It needs it. There's God knows there's enough guys to make that belt what it could potentially be. Yeah, definitely. I agree. There's not really a lot lot else noteworthy from Raw. Not really. Um, At all, really. Um, So, I mean, I'm I'm going into Extreme Rules with sort of, you know, a uh, whatever attitude at the minute. Yeah. Uh, They've got a few weeks to try and build it up and make me care more about it. But at the minute, I just don't. Um, I think the... um, (laughs) Since nothing happened at um, Payback, they could send, hopefully send this time something will happen in the main event. No, let's, let's not even predict it. Let's no. not even let's not even get excited <laughs> about it because we're only going to be let down. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. You're we're just right. going to be disappointed. Let's just let's just uh, you know take it that Reigns is going to win, <laughs> but it'll be a good match. Yeah, as long as there's no screwy crappy bits in the match, which because it's be. extreme rules, <laughs> there shouldn't be. Uh, hopefully, they'll have a good match, and uh, uh, who knows? We'll see. We'll see. So it looks like it's going to be a pay per view of rematches, but obviously we will talk about it as the weeks go on. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. And obviously in the build up to Extreme Rules and, you know, all the rest of it. We'll have a predictions po- uh, podcast like we did previously. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll get a friend of the show, Steve, back to give his views on the build up. Yeah, sure. And uh, get the predictions. Who knows? Um, so that's the wrestling part. I'm just going to do a little bit of housekeeping now. Okay. Um, going to be doing a brand new weekly NXT mini podcast. Because we don't talk about NXT very much on the show, yeah. Um, we thought, why not do sort of a little mini podcast? A couple of people have shown interest in it, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, we're going to do the first one this week. Um, it's going to be 15, 20 minutes of uh, me talking about NXT. 
Yep. Uh, it's going to be called What Happened NXT. What Happened Next. Yep, because I'm smart like that. Very clever. And funny at the same time. <laughs> Why not? Um, you'll be able to hear it in all the usual places, uh, I'm sure. Um, yeah. Yep. I'm excited for that. That'll be pretty good. Um, <laughs> Well, that's pretty much it for episode 11 of the podcast. Um, go to our YouTube page, subscribe, and uh, go check out our videos. Mm-hmm. Go follow us on Twitter, at SunnyFinPC. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Got anything you want to add? Lots more videos on YouTube coming soon. Yes. We're recording more Let's Plays. I hope you will get to get a steady stream of Let's Plays coming out. Yes. Uh, from now on, we've had a lot of uh, trouble getting, getting stuff recorded because things yeah. aren't working and people being ill and just life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but we'll, we want to get we want to get a steady stream of uh, let's plays and content in general on our YouTube page. So check that out. Absolutely. Uh, and we come back soon. More streams every pay per view we will stream. Yep, yep. On uh, also, WWE also, NXT. Yeah. NXT. Definitely. Um, I also want to try doing maybe like another stream, like a retro stream maybe. Just every now and again. Just okay. Play a game. And you know that you want to see your uh, WWE 2K16 um, 2 mode thing. Yeah, I need to resurrect that. Yeah, that'd be cool. So I'm still going with it, but we need to resurrect it. Uh, I will at some point. Um, it's just, again, it's just doing it. Maybe over the next couple of days, I'll, I'll get back on it. I'll yeah, know. that'd be cool. Um, but there's loads of games we can play, loads of things we can do. So the main takeaway from it is uh, new podcast coming, uh, more streams, more Let's Plays, just generally more content, trying to build our little community up. So, yeah, definitely. Um, thank you for listening to the podcast, as always. And we will see you again very soon. Yes, thank, thank you, you very much. Listening. Take it easy, guys. Bye. Goodbye.